So here is a question to all of you. Parents are actually superheroes or are superheroes models? I think we're both because it's extremely difficult to be a connected, grounded, conscious parent and we are role models for our children because they look at us as divine figures. But sometimes parenthood can be messy uh, and it doesn't look like we imagined it. We maybe were dreaming about something like that, but it's a fake because it takes one second to take the picture. We have no clue what happened before and what's going to happen after. Usually parenthood looks mostly like that. <laughs> you take a deep breath. You meditate why this happened, what you're going to do next. You clean the mess and you try to have a better day after what that happens. Sometimes it can look like that. And just in case you're wondering, this is not chocolate. <laughs> Sometimes it can start you off not as you expect. And it can look like that. But don't despair. Technology is here, is here to help us all, from VR applications to AI to augmented reality to smart robots we've been talking about all day. Tech is here to alleviate our problems and to make it a little bit easier. So uh, we're parents 24-7. It's a full-time, non-stop, unpaid job, as most of you know. And we don't prepare for this amazing, hard, rewarding job. We don't prepare for it enough. Why is that? Still figuring it out? We'll see. To become a doctor, to become a lawyer, to become a teacher, any job you want, you have to go to school, you have to study hard, you have to go to university, you have to pass a bunch of tests, get a degree, only then we are allowed to execute this profession, to practice this job. Parenthood is a job because we prepare these little humans to be the future to be the next generation, and to be the grown-up adults. We, today, have no clue how the future is going to look in 10 or 20 years. Maybe your children will end up on another planet being an astronaut planting roses, or maybe she's going to discover the new galaxy. So the technology that we have today is only a little glimpse into the future of our children. From VR applications that are teaching empathy to kids and helping us adults to rewire our brain and creating these immersive experiences, we learn deeper and better how to communicate with these little humans that maybe we forgot a little bit how they feel, how they understand and how they see the world, to 3D printed LED customized prosthetics that any kid will want. And we know that when a child needs a prosthetics, it's usually not a happy or easy situation. But if she wants them, she likes the prosthetics and is willing to actually use them, then, hey, our job as parents is easier. The child feels integrated and happy. There are small smart robots that can clean your house while you are taking a stroll in the park or are reading a book to your kid. There are nano sensors that can track your children's location and you can relax just a little bit more and it's especially, especially important in big cities. There are devices that gather the data of your child while asleep or while awake and send it to the doctor. The doctor can analyze it with the help of AI and then predict with very high accuracy when your child will get sick next time. So if your kid is not spending five days on antibiotics or two days or even one night in the hospital, that's amazing for the child, for the parent, for the whole society. 
Prevention of any type of sickness or disease is a huge deal. Unfortunately, we're not giving it enough um, importance, but the new upcoming technologies are bringing us into this direction, so we can't escape it anymore. There are mobile applications that can connect your fridge to your phone, to your smartphone, and they communicate, so you have to do less of a job thinking what I'm going to buy next, what is missing in my fridge, or am I doing a good job as a mother or a father feeding my children, because the smart application is telling you that you don't have milk, so you have to buy milk, or you don't have enough uh, greens in your fridge. So you're always on top of your daily food routine. There are smart robots that can answer almost, I think, all the questions a child might have, and we know children have a lot of sometimes uncomfortable questions. <laughs> so if we let the robots, the AI, answer those questions, the results can be amazing, and they learn from the best, because we have Alexa, we have Google Assistant, we have um, Siri, and now we have Sophie, but gave a speech to UN conference a few days ago. So there are robots with extremely high intelligence, maybe not the highest emotional intelligence as we have as humans, but definitely has all the questions for your children. So here I am talking about parenthood and the cutting edge technology and encouraging all of you going out there, give it a try. If it's not for you, don't insist. But remember, the future is unknown to us. The cutting-edge technology that we have now will be obsolete in less than 10 years. So, dear parents, please, use the tech. It's your friend, but use it wisely. Thank you.